Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So in today's video, we are going to be comparing these two powders from MAC. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys click on the subscribe button down below and also that bell so you get notified when I have a new video up. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Ooh, what is up guys? So in today's video, I thought I would compare these two products from MAC um, because at first glance, they look very, very similar. And to be honest, when I first saw these two products, I was a bit confused as to what does what and you know just essentially what the difference is and I'm pretty sure that's what you guys are wondering as well because you are watching this video. Okay so to help you guys make a decision which one is probably going to be best for you I think I should um, discuss the difference between a setting powder and a finishing powder. So the setting powder is essentially a powder that you apply on the top of your foundation your concealer to help it lock it in place to set it essentially um, so it's going to add longevity to your look and also help control the oils knock out any shine and now a finishing powder. A finishing powder is basically a powder that you apply on top of everything else. So a finishing powder. And basically a finishing powder has sort of like this filter effect on the skin and most of the time it's going to give sort of like a blurring effect onto the skin. Now um, there are different types of finishing powders. There are coloured ones like skin tone ones and obviously there's this one which is a transparent translucent sort of like colour. So if I had to break it down really quickly what's the difference? This one is something you would use for baking and this one is something that you'd use to to add sort of like a filter on the skin. In terms of the products themselves, how do they feel on the skin? Honestly, they're very finely milled products. They're really nice and silky. Um, in terms of what they look like on the skin, now I'm wearing the set powder on this side. Um, I did do some baking underneath the eyes using a sponge on this side. And I also use a brush on this side um, just kind of like to set everything else. And then on this side, I just use a brush um, both for setting the under eye and also the rest of the face. Now in person, what do I think of the powders? Um, Honestly, the finishing powder side, I can definitely see that it's got this sort of like blurring soft effect on the skin and it looks really nice. And I think you can see it on camera as well. Like it's got this really nice soft look on the skin and I have pretty much even textured issues all over my face. Um, and yeah, I honestly feel like this looks softer and looks nicer, um, both in person and on camera. Whereas on this side, um, I can definitely tell that I just use a powder and my skin looks flat. Like it doesn't look bad, um, but I just feel like this just looks so much better compared to this. Obviously I'm wearing other bits of makeup as well, bronzer, contour, highlight and blush, but this part of my cheek here underneath what my contour is where it's pretty much just foundation, primer foundation, and obviously the powders. And it's it's pretty much the same story. It looks just softer here. This one just looks flat. But that being said, I have worn the set powder out and by the time my, you know, my skin oils have mixed in with everything else, it does tend to look a little bit like this. Um, not as soft, but you know, it doesn't look as flat, if that makes sense. And yes, I did use a setting spray on both sides. I use the um, Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer Water. I don't think this actually changes the finish of your powders or your skin in general. And um, yeah, I just, I feel like it just, helps melt that powder so it gets rid of that powdery finish on the skin. Do I think there's much of a difference? Um, honestly, it's very subtle. I think if you have either or products, I think you would be fine. Um, it's only really when you do blush. Now, here are some photos to help me with my case. Okay, as you guys can see, with the set powder side, with flash, there's absolutely no issues. But when we go to the finishing side, as you guys can see, it's defi it definitely shows. Like, it definitely shows. Now, um, I did use a normal amount of powder that I would normally use to set my face like that's literally how much powder I use um, which is why I think you know if you use a finishing powder to set everything you will use a lot of product and you will finish this quite quickly so overall, what do I think about the powders? I think they're both really good powders. It really just depends on what you want to use the powder for. Again, if you guys are going to be using it to set your makeup, um, it's definitely the set powder. Um, you can obviously use the finishing powder, like I said, but then you get the flashback issue. Um, if you guys are just looking for a powder that you can add to your makeup routine to just give you a really nice, soft, like blurring effect on the skin, then definitely the finishing powder. But yeah, there you guys go. Those are my thoughts and opinions of the two products. Hopefully you guys found this educational and and useful but yeah I think that's pretty much it for me if you guys would like to see more of me definitely check me out on Instagram I have two accounts now I have Mr. Ken Dennis which is still like my normal beauty lifestyle sort of like content and I have a new one called Glam Boys which is basically a page that I have started to dedicate to male 
makeup artists, male makeup enthusiasts. I feel like on Instagram, it's very hard to find um, male makeup artists. Um, and I personally identify a lot more with them. So, you know, like with skin textural issues and stuff. So, but yeah, I've made that page um, dedicated to that. So if you guys are interested in supporting that page, definitely follow me on that as well. And yeah, if you guys need any helpful links to purchase your products, I'll link them down in the description box down below for you guys. And that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.